You know him from Magic Mike, 21 Jump Street, and possibly that sexy dream you had last night. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Give it up for Channing Tatum, everybody! Hi, how are you? I am so good, but you look like somewhere wonderful behind you. I, I want to be where you're oh, at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. <laughs> Come on over. We should do this I'm like, present. it looks like I want to take a walk in your garden or your park behind you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but what did you think? Because you're such a fitness guy. What did you think of Meg's fitness story? It's pretty incredible, right? Unreal. I, I mean, look, I, as someone that has to work out as for a job, I, I promise you I would not look like this unless I had to be naked in most of my movies, mostly. And, <laughs> and like, at some point, I got to get better at acting so I don't have to be naked in all of them. <laughs> but she is just incredible. I, I really, I mean, <clears throat> I literally get to work out as a job. And it is, it, and it's still hard. And I can't imagine people that have have a nine to five job, have kids yeah. at home, and then where do they get the energy and the time to to actually like, you know, focus on themselves? And I just think it's really beautiful what she's doing. Absolutely, and you get it, you're a dad. This like, there's a lot of time like just yeah. for work and then you're a dad. It's like, it's a lot like to fit everything Ugh. in. Um, so do you do you do like massive cheat days? Cause Dwayne um, Johnson was on here and he showed me his cheat day and I was like, First of all, I would barf if I ate all the things he ate on his cheat day. But do you have massive He's, ones? He, I, I sometimes do. Uh, not like not like massive ones, because I think as I'm getting older, it's really getting like everything I pick up, I just go, oh, that's like two more miles that I have to run or ride. <laughs> and, and it's like I just start looking at things like they're just actual miles and time that I have to work out. So I, uh, yeah. I will pick the days and I will pick very specific things. I love cake. But, oh uh, God, but yeah, it's, too. it's, it, <laughs> oh my God. And you just had a birthday. We have birthdays near each other. I'm the 24th and you're the, the 26th, right? Of April? Of course, man. Taurus. We are absolutely, We are running yes. the world. Yeah, I just, just had it. Just had it. Like I don't 26. know one tourist that doesn't love cake. I'm just saying, Lester's birthday is today and he loves cake. I'm just saying, but he also. Is that a cake thing? Is that a tourist thing? <laughs> I, I think so. I'm owning it. I'm claiming it. It's not my fault. I was born Deal. into this. <laughs> I was born this way, Gaga. <laughs> um, so how did you celebrate? <laughs> Uh, we really did, like, we chilled. I mean, I think even during quarantine, like, last year, it was just a really chill sort of birthday, and, yeah. and we just sat around the pool. We, we sidewalk chalked uh, my, my driveway. We have a giant wolf that looks like it's, uh, we traced all the, sh all the light shadows from the trees, and it looks like this wolf's on fire. It's like a wolf walker on fire wolf that has, like, chicken legs for some reason. Oh I don't my know God, why. I love it. I think, we, I think neither one of my daughter or I knew how to draw wolf feet, so we just went with chicken. Oh my gosh, have you seen the thing on Netflix? I think it's called like Wolf Walker or something. It's, my kids were obsessed with it. I can't remember the name of it, but it won all these awards. It was so good. But it's it's so good that, yes. yeah, that's, that's our favorite movie at the moment. Same, same filmmaker as uh, Song of the Sea, which you should definitely see the music and it is just outstanding. Oh, wow. I started watching one last night with my kids and I was like, is this the same? The same people that made the the wolf one, and anyway, I've seen it so many times. Um, but is it yeah. is it true though that your first big challenge with fatherhood was learning how to braid hair? Yeah, I completely panicked when I found out we were having a girl, and I literally went to YouTube and started figuring out like how <laughs> like I think the first one I saw was a dad vacuuming up his his daughter's <laughs> hair with like a hair tie onto the vacuum, and I was like, that's genius. And then. It doesn't work like the guy did it. I, I tried it and it didn't work as well. But yeah, so I learned how to braid hair. I'm the hardest thing though, because my daughter has really straight, fine hair. I have to do this every night or she wakes up with a rat's nest. It doesn't, it's like a giant like knot back there. Um, but the hardest thing, because she has layered hair, is doing the three close to the head equal strands. Yeah. You know, like that once once I got that, the braiding's easy. The braiding's really, really simple, but I always I'll get like three or a third of the way through and I'll realize that one strand is a lot shorter than the other one and my O C D <laughs> kicks in and I have to like restart. And then it's just terrible. I know. God bless sports for me on that one. We all used to braid each other with volleyball and soccer, all those sports. We'd, I learned that at a very young age. His new children's book is called The One and Only Sparkella, and it's out right now. Um, but have you always wanted to write a kid's book? Because I, I didn't think, one, I'd ever have a kid. And then I had kids, and then I was like, oh, it'd be fun to write a book. You know, you're reading them all the time with your kids, and I ended up doing it too. Is that kind of how it happened for you? 
Um, sort of. I mean, I never thought I'd be an author of anything, uh, Me much neither. less like a kid's book. And but uh, like what you're saying, you know, you definitely end up reading almost all of them. You know, you were looking for any suggestions because we read five books every night. We like all my all my friends were like, you read five. That was a horrible idea. Why didn't you just say it's one book? And I was like, it's too late. We started. We started with five already. It's it's not from <laughs> the die is cast. So we were reading everything under the sun. And you know, and then I, I definitely realized that there weren't that many dad-daughter books. Um, there was a, kind of a hole in the market there. There was a lot, a lot of mom-kid books and, and certain other ones. And, and I just sort of was like, you know, I don't know. I wanted to write something that was very, you know, just me and, me and my daughter have a really beautiful relationship. And it's really it's fun. And, you know, I was worried. You know, I was worried a little bit of just how being a dad, of how was I going to relate and mm. understand a little girl. And, and the key was just to go into her world. And it was so fun. And the world that we created was so rich. And like the characters and the voices and the things was so much fun. And, and she's such a little character that I don't know. I just, it, the, the story just sort of happened. Like I, I didn't really have to like dig deep for the imagination. It was more of yeah. just observing my daughter and like, and really just our relationship is super hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah, it's if you are anything like the father in that book, you're awesome and you're nailing it. It was made the two, two <laughs> like how you were coming, and and it, my kids loved it. They loved, they were like, I wonder if Daddy would dress up, and I, their dad probably totally would. But it was just like they it totally got their minds thinking. Like you said, there's not a lot of dad. I really can. I thought I was thinking Nelly knew that from the Llama Llama series. There's only one yeah. book that's kind of with the dad, and they paint this whole thing. But other than that, I was like, I don't really know of any. So it's a really good idea, and it's so important because father figures Ooh. are so important for kids and I loved Sparkella and I love that she went with the she tried to fit in and then she comes back and my, my kids I mean they're hard on books we read every night just like you apparently and they're hard mm -hmm. on books and they will just walk away they'll be like I'm done I just want to go to bed <laughs> like they're, they can be hard it's on next. authors like I'm like you're a critic but they loved it and they were captivated the whole time and you did a really good job with it thank you that means that means yeah. a lot to me I mean we you know, it, it was, and, and Abby's the same way. She really is hard on books. She's hard even on me when I was little, like, or when she was little. I would read and all the, I was trying so hard to be entertaining and, and mm -hmm. doing all the voices and everything. And, yeah. and, uh, and she'd be like, Dad, can you just read it straight? Oh my can God. you just, I just same. want it straight. And I'm like, I've been training for this my whole life and you don't want me to do the voices? Yeah. You didn't but like she, my English accent? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like, look, I'm never going to do an English accent in the movie. Let me do it with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I'm <laughs> like, don't do it. I love it. but uh, but yeah, I don't know. She's I I, I totally I totally get you. Abby's a Abby's a hard critic, and she like the like the glitter poop and stuff like that. Glitter we poop. we really my do that. And she found it really funny. <laughs> my kids were cracking up. My little boy was cracking up at glitter poop. He's like, you said poop. Um, he's five. Um, <laughs> but but anyway, so uh, is your daughter anything like? Are you like the characters? Do y'all are y'all that sparkle? Is she all that kind of sparkle rock and roll little girl walking in? Yeah, you know there there was a there was a really kind of where the where the whole uh, genesis of the story it was, it was. She was in preschool and she had this like. She had this like watermelon cape sort of thing that when you held your arms out, it looked like she was a slice of watermelon. But like when it were down, she just looked like a cool little cape. And I remember she loved it. I don't even know where we got it. I, I don't remember buying it. And uh, she loved it. And I remember the day that she put it on to go to school. And then when I was like, all right, all right, babe, it's time to go. Let's go. She like panicked. And I was like, she started taking it off. She's like, I don't want to wear it. I don't want to wear it. And then, and then I was like, wait, what's, what's wrong? And, and, I, and she's like, I don't want to get made fun of. And, and I was like. And I realized the very, that was like the very first time, at least that I saw of her being like self-conscious about like how other people saw her or really, and it, it was like heartbreaking, but you know, a beautiful moment all in one. And, but she really did. She like, that was like a small phase and she really did come out of any kind of, um, I think self-consciousness in a way, like she's a little precocious little trickster and, yeah. and she's very much like Sparkella. And I don't know, I, I really... Maybe I like to wear a, a fuchsia boa a little too easily. Maybe I like to paint my nails a little too easily. I, I'm not sure, okay? But, awesome. but it, if you pull uh, it, it off, you pull it off. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So what, it's fun. <laughs> Anything to make her laugh, it's, it's, it's a good idea. I love it. I love it. It really is a good thing for dads, too. It's a really cool thing you're doing. So what, I have a question. Did you, my mom is an educator, so like we read a lot when I was a kid. Did your parents do the same for you? Is that why you read a lot with her? Uh, yeah, my mom, my mom read a lot. My dad worked a lot. Um, 
My mom worked too, but I, I think I remember my mom reading most with me, and mm. they still they kept all my books. Uh, they all like the you know the golden uh, spine, the golden yeah. spine. I can't remember. I books. collect them. Uh, I still but we have, have a bunch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did, my my daughter got to read them, so it was yeah. really cool. I was like, I, and it was such a a bizarre sort of trip through memory lane to like open up a book that you probably didn't see or read and like the last time you were you were probably eight or seven yeah and to get to now do it at 40 was like a really strange like trip but um but yeah i think they did they did read they read they read a good bit to me are there any like lessons like i don't know or things like advice that your parents gave you that you are going to pass on to everly uh, I, I got to figure out how to do this one in a little maybe different of a, of a way, but I but I love the message. Uh, my mom, my mom um, put the she, my mom and dad would like kind of draw little cartoons on my on my lunchbox napkin uh, when I was when I was little. And my mom That's drew this cute. one or maybe I think she printed it out and put it in. But it was like a comic from like the newspaper. And it was this guy uh, in, in like a coffin. Sorry. It's not this morbid. I promise. Uh, it's a guy in a coffin, like holding a rose and he looks like pristine and he's guys in the suit and, and the, the line I think above it or the, is you don't want to reach the grave in a well-preserved body. And the next, the next oh. frame is, is like a, like a coffin and a guy looking like he's sliding in sideways and he looks happy and blissed out, but he's all like roughed up and he's like, you want to slide in sideways going, what a ride. And, oh, um, wow. and I, you know, I definitely, really I definitely live. subscribe to that maybe a little too hard. I think <laughs> like yeah. my, 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 uh, my body's definitely paying for it in old age. Yeah. Um, but I, I definitely like learn from, from her and, and from my dad to, you know, anything you do, do it at a hundred miles per hour and, and enjoy it as much as you possibly can. And, and that's the thing I really want to teach Evie is just how to live, how to live and how to have fun and find joy. Yeah, not live in fear and really live every moment fully and be present. That's that's awesome advice. Yep. Well, it is lovely to see you, Channing. Good luck on the book. Uh, it's amazing. I'm such a fan of you. I just want you to know, like, I'm I'm so happy like that you're doing this and oh, people are getting you. to see you. I'm so, I'm like a real fan. You're you're such oh, a ditto. big light and big heart. Ditto. I've been dancing with you in those movies for a minute. Um, so hey, I would <laughs> I wish I could say I've been singing with you, but uh, uh, I ain't doing that. Well, now I want to karaoke <laughs> I'll dance night. With you <laughs> Because the worst people at karaoke are always my favorite. <laughs> All uh, right, well, well, that's, I get that. <laughs> Everybody, be sure to grab Channing's new kids book. It's called The One and Only Spark Ella. It's out right now. Your kids are going to love it. I promise. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.